Do you like anime? Do you like Japanese inspired things? Do you like clothes? I'm sure you like to stay warm. Well, I got this stuff for you. Introducing Imori.com, a website that introduces anime and Japanese inspired styled clothing made in house. And you can use the code Uchi15 to save yourself 15% off of all these cool, dope hats, beanies, hoodies, t shirts, sweatpants, and way more where that came from. That's Uchi15 at checkout to save yourself 15% off your entire order at imori.com. What's up, everybody? <gasps> it's your boy Uchi and the homie Kai and brother Uchi. <laughs> Once again, how y'all doing today? What is going on, guys? It's your boy Ooze, Homie Kai, and the returning brother Ooze. Yo, what's up, son? There it is. How you doing? Got it. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and we're here for another special episode of Full Power Podcast. It's been like a few weeks, I understand that, but listen. I was not about to record a solo episode because that's that defeats the purpose of the podcast. At that point, it becomes the NBC News. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's kind of my fault. Things have been a little hectic lately. so. And, and that's totally okay. All right, listen. Life But we are hard. back again once again. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, with all, all, the, all the kind of troubles that could possibly happen. But the fact of the matter is we're here now and we're ready. All, the whole gang is here. We have a freaking special surprise bringing in Brother Ooch for you guys. I know... You have been a requested person, just in general, not even just for the Full Power Podcast, but <laughs> you're like, yo, where is Brother Uch at? Where is he at? And I keep telling these, these people, I'm like, yo, like, he has school, he's not home, but you're on spring break right now, so. And, you know, there's that there's that virus that's going around <laughs> and scaring the living it's all hell good. out just of everyone. Just get yourself everyone. some Chen Micro, you guys will be fine. All right, you know, just yeah. wash your hands, wash your ass, and everybody will be okay. Wash your- <laughs> so, uh, keep your Dragon Balls nice and cleansy. Oh, you like? Anyway, let's get right into it. So, brought to you this time around on this week's episode, um, our one of our one of our followers and fans, Crimson. All right, Crimson is always uh, sharing the good comments and whatnot, sharing that love. So appreciate Crimson. Shout out to Crimson, and he had a very uh, a pretty pretty unique topic in that. What are he wanted to know our top five Dragon Ball Z moments of all time, right? So, it's a good one because we have Brother Uch to, to actually hear what his are. But, um, Kai had the idea to go, like, one at a time, starting from, like, our least yeah. all the way down to one. So, it's yeah. not like I'm going to go first and he's going to go and then he's going to go. We're going to yeah, have talk it. about our spots. Yeah, yeah. We're going we're gonna to have the spots. And at the end of this, when we're done, like, discussing whatnot, we can talk about an honorable mention just real quick. Yeah. Just, like, something, something we really, you know, fucked with that just yeah. didn't yeah. make it. For whatever yes, reason. Exactly. So, so, brother, Ooh, since you're the guest, you're gonna start us off, and then it's gonna go like, like that. All right, so you're gonna go, <laughs> it's gonna then, go like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're you're gonna go, then you're gonna go, then I'll go. Least, so, least yeah, out favorite of the, out of the top out five. Out of your top five. Oh, I got like a good four. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you if you think of something later, just you know. Uh, it's like a switch order. I mean, Maybe. try not to, but for uh, the sake. I of... I mean, if he got four, we could just. I could just go. We could go with our fives and let him start with his four. When we go. Okay, then that. That. Do. Would you rather do that? Unless I come up with a fifth. Then. Okay, fine. <laughs> that. 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 That yeah, works. Yeah, that I way we have some kind that. of flow. I keep thinking while y'all go. Word. All right, go ahead. All right, word. What's your fifth? All right, so my fifth is the fight between Goku and Cell. Ooh. Like when Super Saiyan One and like Perfect Cell when they finally got in the ring uh-huh. because that was just such a scrap, bro. Like mm-hmm. there were some real scenes like both in the manga and in the anime like that. Okay, that was tough. Okay. Like that was a really good fight. We got we got the clones, we got the discs. Like he like mm-hmm. he whooped out all the different techniques on Goku. That was a real fight. I, hey, you know what's funny? I haven't. I, I, I thought about this the other day. I haven't actually like rewatched like those parts of Z in mm. years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I, this guy probably has a better memory I of it than it. I do. Yeah. Cause he I've said this a million times on this, on other videos and streams. This guy literally watched the orange bricks on repeat. Same. Like for years, bro. <laughs> this was before he like started going on to other animes. Like before other animes, there was only one. That's straight facts. Cause it was a lifestyle. That is true. 
All right. Do you have your fifth yet? No? No? Okay. All right. So my number five is going to be when Grace Sandman debuted. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, the reason why I say Grace Sandman is because all y'all know I'm a huge Power Ranger guy, tokusatsu fan, Super Sentai. It's Morphin Time all the time, you know. And when I saw that, see, when I was young, I didn't really look at the Ginyu Force like they were Power Rangers when I was young. Now I do because, you know, they're like, you know, Toku Sentai and blah, 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 Super Sentai. Like, that's a, that's a, that's part of the joke is like, they're like a, basically like a Power Ranger team, yeah. right? And so when I saw Grey Saiyan Man, I was like, yo, he's basically like his own Power Ranger. So like when I saw that as a kid, I was like, hell yeah. While everyone was hating on Grey Saiyan Man, everyone hates on Gohan, blah, blah, blah. He, all he got soft, blah, blah. Even Vegeta's like, oh, you haven't trained, blah, blah, blah. This yeah, he's that. like, you were you were stronger <laughs> as a child. Yeah, like, <laughs> right, yeah. No, I was like, I'm like, man, lay off my man Gohan. He's out here saving the day anyway in oh a brand new way. So yeah, number five for me. Great saying, man. So do nice. you have your five yet? You want to go to four? Nah, I, I think I got the five. Oh, okay, okay. All right, good. What you call it? Um, the the father son Kamehameha. Wait. Wow, that's your number five. Yeah, hey. even though it involves Gohan. Okay. <laughs> but during it was the, the cell, so of course, yeah, that was naturally. his best moment. Okay. Still. That definitely uh <laughs> got our fives. Damn, that's your five. I wonder what your freaking one is. Or your three. That's <laughs> that's what that's yeah, his fifth. Yeah. Now oh, well just for just for context, we're keeping it Dragon Ball Z. Yes, anime. yes, it is Dragon Ball Z. Oh no well, super. Can, no super. Yeah, no, no super, super, no movies, no no, no ball. Oh, like that it's Z. Thing. Yeah. It's Z, it is, you know, the the <laughs> 290 some Dang. episodes like yeah 296 I think 290 I was gonna say 293 but 296 sounds more accurate. Right, like, like, ah, okay now that yeah because Crimson specifically said Dragon Ball Z okay, okay. so yeah. I didn't want to be like cheap yeah no like, no movies or nothing like that yeah, Z no, no movies unfortunately because that that would definitely that would change, change the roster the for landscape sure landscape of the top fives all right so you have your four or you want to just go to you then yeah, 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 yeah. okay all right so you, what's your four all right so my fourth is actually the birth of Super Vegito. Super. Okay. okay. I I'm a huge fusion person. I'm all uh, about the yeah. fusion life uh, for yes. sure. Of course, Vegito. I love Vegito. I love the whole Patara fusion. You already know Patara all day, every day. Gang, gang, Goku, black shit. Mm. But that's beside the point. And I just remember, <laughs> I remember reading that manga all the time, seeing that panel of Super Vegarot. Oh in yeah, <laughs> Mega Rod, son. That yeah, just Ooh. all that. So yeah, that was that was really awesome, dude. That's a good one. Damn, that's number four. Wow. Yeah, and there's there's a reason. Guapo. I have I have Shoot. my reason. I have my list for a reason. Okay. So okay. I'll get to that. My number four. This was so it's funny because right after number five it gets hard. Yeah. To, like narrow it <laughs> right. So my number four. Will probably probably have to be when Gohan went Super Saiyan 2. Mm, like yeah. for the first time. Yeah. You know, like <laughs> that was a tough moment. And like back when back when that was happening, you know, Cell Saga, Cell was botting everybody. My man made his own ring just to have it was has his own organized beating of everybody. And Gohan's out here training. They kind of hyped it up, like, "Oh, Gohan got some extra," but you know, he's different. He's not. He's, yeah. He's realistically, he's not a fighter. He's a peacemaker type mm. guy. He's, yeah, for sure. He's really not. He was never about that. And like, out of all the discussions I've had over the years, and the videos that I've even talked about this, is that people, including you, <laughs> I got him, don't want to let that shit go, or they don't want to understand that Gohan was never ever like his dad or like any of the other Z warriors at that rate. He wasn't a full blooded Saiyan. So he didn't have that, like that essential, like lust or like that drive for like pure fighting all the time and training. Like he, he had a much more calm human side to him. (laughs) See, and that's the thing. And and that was, and that was, I feel like a very special treat in itself because Mm. Gohan was pushed. Honestly, he was thrown into the mix. Because if they if they went about it the way they was going, and Goku was the one to finish off Cell, like we probably would have never seen that. Mm-hmm. But Goku was like, "All right, 
Gohan, it's your turn now. And he knew that he could have, and that he was the one, that he could have done it, you know? Gohan, Gohan was like 11. <clears throat> Gohan's been thrown into this shit because daddy died the first time. Like, he had a Dragon Ball on his head. He was a kid. He didn't know any better. He got mad. He saw some power and just his potential was just sought out after from that point. And that's, and that's just natural genetics, you know? I always say this, and I actually have a term for this. Generational superiority. Absolutely. Every generation thing. is meant to be Surpass. better than the past. Yep, for sure. I believe that. We see that shit in every anime. <laughs> every fucking anime. Like, and that's okay. I have no problems with that because, like, that's just how, how it goes. You know? Like, in in anything. So, so yeah. So, Gohan going Super Saiyan 2 first time. It was, it was a nice treat, like I said. We got to see another side of Gohan. Gohan's hella strong. Everyone, that's like teen Gohan, or I, I you should call it young Gohan, really, because he wasn't a teen, but... That form of that that stage of OG Gohan. Gohan. That, yeah, people call, call OG because they don't want to acknowledge <laughs> seven years later Gohan, Grey Saiyan Gohan, <laughs> Spopovich Gohan, freaking man backhanded his girl Gohan. They don't want to acknowledge that one. They don't. <laughs> they want to acknowledge when he had his most badass moment <laughs> against L and when it took Android 16 to be like, Gohan, you must fight sometimes, <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but yeah, that's my number four. So, oh my what's God. your number four, Mr. Brother Ooze? When Future Trunks came into play. <laughs> but more importantly, when he went, um, like he upgraded. You remember You remember when he was like, after the, the chamber? Oh, that he came out with the long hair? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fire. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I like that one. <laughs> that's a good number four. Yeah. Trunks is definitely. I mean, he was my he was my number one favorite character up until a certain point in canonical life, right? But I I, I fucks with that. I remember that shit too. I I literally remember that scene. <laughs> they came out the chamber. My man's hair was down to he, here, he grew and too. I I had the most like as a kid. There's been a couple things why I love long hair, right? And one of them being Jeff Hardy with the Hardy Boys and rest. I'm a big wrestling fan. And Trunks. When I saw that, I was like, I absolutely need long hair in my life. <laughs> Trunks, like, you like, you like all of the, I was like, all the badass characters got long hair. Trunks was definitely badass. Son of the Prince of All Saints, which he should technically be the prince. Technically, yeah. But since Vegeta doesn't want to declare himself and man, yo, Trunks, king of dude, nothing Trunks got Trunks got a whole nother level of level headedness that his daddy don't even have like come on yo imagine Vegeta ain't got no human chill in him no nah, none I, you know why probably because what you said bro the freaking he's half breed it's the hybrids hybrids and that's that generational it's the hybrids shit. yeah he came he came out the pod super saiyan Vegeta didn't even know at that point that was his son he was like, what the fuck? <laughs> right. Who is this guy? And why and is then, he a Super and Saiyan? And then when he actually has a kid, you know, Kid Trunks running around with Super <laughs> Saiyan <laughs> in his gravity chamber, he's like, yo, bring that ass here, boy. Yeah. Where'd you learn that? Like, it's child's play. <laughs> oh, no, I forget. That shit was funny. It's always, it's always great when Vegeta's mad. So what's your number three now, right? Number three. Yeah, number three. Number three. Number three. You already know I'm Fusion Gang Gang, Gotenks. But there's more specific than just Gotenks' arrival. It is Gotenks and Super Buu in the time chamber. Oh, here we go. Because that was the first time we Hell got yeah. to see some time chamber Hell action. Yeah. We saw the seasons change in that bitch. Oh, we saw yes. everything. We had comedic value. We had Super Buu sipping on his smoothie and his magazine, <laughs> bad bitches. <laughs> we had... <laughs> Yo, I forgot about that. Yes, yes, yes. So we had, we got to see, and we got to see, you know, how, we got to see how, like, a real fusion fight, you know, that was the first fusion we really got, and we got to see two kids that, you know, admired the just blood of the Saiyans and the ability to fight on that level, that next level of just OG Super Saiyan shit. And, you know, they, obviously they went Super Saiyan 3, but for me, it was more of, seeing the time chamber and that whole plan of even if we fail we'll just lock him in here and how that didn't work mm -hmm. the whole the whole thing of like gotenks having you know a million different moves you know screaming angry wombat we had all this crazy shit and he was <laughs> 
So yeah, we got the donuts, we got the ghosts, everything. So yeah, that's my number three. To piggyback off that, my number three is actually that exact same <laughs> shit. <laughs> Go Tanks, Super Saiyan, Tree out here, all right? Now, now it's not even just about the fact that, like, yeah, like, well, the moment that did it for me, right, was right as... <laughs> Yo, the, literally, the, the moment, and, the, you know, see, like, if I was watching DBZ for the first time, like, look, he's getting heated right now. <laughs> no, when, if I was watching G DBZ back then, as I, as I would have watched it now. Right, it's different. Like, dude, when I was a kid, like, I think back and I'm just like, man, I, I must have just been, like, brain dead watching this shit. Because, like, they they built it up. You they know, did. like, they hyped it up. Like, they really did. They, at, the kids asked Goku, can we see how Super Saiyan 3 looks like? They were like, whoa, right? And I never, it never even occurred to me. Never, I never thought, like, oh, maybe they're going to try to do it. Nah, never fuck. When I, I remember, I'm literally... Memor like going back to my memory banks and and thinking what was i thinking during this part of my life yeah while I'm yeah yeah i it? tried to do the same and like remember the part when they're in the chamber and they're eating rice and they're training go tanks doing handstand push-ups and all that shit right and then but then there was like a scene where you saw a lot of flashing going on in the background that was probably when they was trying it like in go tanks form i guess mm. right but <clears throat> it never occurred to me i never thought of that shit not once, but so the moment that 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 really defines it right <laughs> was obviously when Boo leaves, yep. right? And they need to go to, and we they need to go to, and you know of course like Gotenks was just getting like he he was he already got handled right? It was like back and forth kind of from what I remember, mm -hmm. and then and then Boo leaves, and then Pickles like fuck like we're stuck right, and then <gasps> he starts fucking screaming, mm -hmm. and I was like. What is he doing? What is he doing? And you know why this moment is, is my is definitely my top five number three for me because I we have the VHS tape. I had that tape, son. That's one of the few tapes of Dragon Ball Z that I had before the DVD releases started coming out. Damn. So I had that was what I was watching all the fucking time. Yep. You know, like I watched out, that fight so much outside of the TV, you know, episodes whenever <clears> they came on. <throat> I had that tape and I was putting that shit on rewind freaking looking at that and then of course he freaking makes the portal and i thought that was one of the most sickest moments i was like yo and he's a kid they're goku kids. looking through the crystal ball at the kaioshi's place like huh they're like, like oh, hi. yeah <laughs> dude that's what i'm saying like so yeah that's my number three right there yeah so what's yours Oh yes, yeah. that's, that's that shit. Three. We got that number three spot, Go Tanks. Oh, Mine's yeah. like a little mix though. Is is Go Tanks but Super Boo too? Cause Super Boo always made me want chocolate. To be honest, cause that <laughs> man was always like, you know, that man was. Eating. You saw how he chomped on that shit, bro? Yes. Well, yeah. Hard body. That's like twenty percent of the eighty. That's number three. <laughs> but yeah, that transformation was sick. Yeah, never forget. Never forget. Uh huh. That volleyball spike. That too. <laughs> All that shit. Yeah, Gotenks Gil Gil was that guy. For and sure. you know what? He was he was our first fusion character. Yeah. He was our first fusion yep, character. Yep, yep. So a lot of a lot of people. Because we're not we're not talking about the whole Namekian fusion with like Nell and everything else. Nah, we're talking about like fusion. I never like, counted that. You wanna know why? Like a permanent like, right. Yeah. And the Namekian yeah. fusions are weird because it's like they Their just, whole race they can sink. just sink. Yeah. That's what it is. That's kind of crazy, though. Like, I wonder if they're ever going to bring that type of shit back. I mean, they did in the Tournament Fire, remember? Yeah, their whole race fused oh, yeah, into two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that alone is crazy. Because it's like, their how are you going to bet it all race. on that? fused into two people powers. and think about that so their whole race fused into two people that's done and then and they, they lost the washed. tournament yeah they they got washed you know everything so it was all it was all for naught in the end but then all the universes got brought back so now they're just <laughs> stuck like that right so it, it's kind it's it's kind of od and that's how that's how patara was supposed to be until they hit us with the actually, actually. <laughs> I was actually talking to Rocco about that too. I was like, I had, because I was explaining a certain theory and uh, certain things. <sighs> stop. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. It has nothing to do with Dragon Ball, by the way. But anyway. That's why we need to stop. Yeah, yeah. So that's your number. So it's funny how all of our number threes had a Super Saiyan three in that shit, and it was and it was Gold Tanks. So free, done. So free. what's your number two? That's that free three. Free three. 
Uh. Number two, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Okay. So it can't. My four. It can't. It can't not be on my list. I was a super. I was a super fan of Gohan, especially as a kid. Like just all of that. Like he was. He was my main in most of the Dragon Ball games that I played. Like huge hard body. Like young Gohan fan for sure. Can't let that. Can't let that go. So no, it's very obvious that that's on my list. Gohan's. Gohan's whole like structure. Like like. So he was like a tiny kid, right? Yeah. Eleven years old. Yeah. When that hair came out, bro, yep. this man was a chia pet. Like that shit was like this on his freaking head, son. It made his head seem like it weighed like no, fifty that's, pounds. That's the other thing too is. I actually liked his design because it was a unique Super Saiyan form. It was like it was like Trunks's like OD spikiness, but like. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't the typical Super Saiyan look that Goku and Vegeta got for their first forms. It was something else, and it, it was, was just... The it was thing. It was the official next level. But I'm actually going to say, like, not just that about Gohan. Like, even Super Saiyan 1, like, young Gohan. Like, that was... He fought really well, especially oh, against yeah. Cell and everything. Like, that fight was tough. Like, yeah. you know, Cell beat his ass. He was like, all right, who next? Who next? And Gohan comes out the rubble like... <laughs> me. Uh! Right? <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, so my number two. All right, so this number two, I don't know if y'all would even consider this, or you would have thought that this would be my number two, right? But my number two is actually when Vegeta admitted that Goku was better than him. I Ooh. knew that was gonna be on your list somewhere. This was- It was almost on my list. Ah. It was almost on my list. So that's, that's one of your honorable mentions. We'll get into the mentions later. Yeah, we'll get we'll get into that. But my number two, I, I forget what episode number that was, and I. But I, yes, I, that I, was such a huge moment. Yeah, I forget what the title of that was. It was like Vegeta something. That was probably like the last episode of the. It Disney. was one of the last episodes of Z. For sure. Yeah, it was during. It was in like the last four or five episodes. Yeah, it was during. It was during when there was fighting Kid Buu, and and this was during a time where Goku was. It was Goku's turn fighting. You know, Kid Buu. And this was basically like an episode where Vegeta got to recollect everything that happened and like to reminisce and think of all the shit they've been through. Yeah. And that was literally, and this is, we're talking Dragon Ball Z, okay? And this is not even involving Super, but this is Dragon Ball Z. Vegeta, even during Z, had, is the character that probably gets the, the character that has done the most um like character development award mm, that's because facts. from when he debuted all the way up until the very end of the series he it you know how big of a pill that must have been for him to swallow and in the midst of battle for him to even have those thoughts that was the most like one of the best moments in all of you are better than me kakarot right. <laughs> you are the best right yeah so, that's crazy so that's my number two what about you um, my number two, I think, is is when Vegeta went Majin. To be honest. Okay. Yeah, cause that was very interesting. Cause it's like he turned evil, but then he went back to, you know, normal after he decided to fight Boo and try to kill him, but yeah. he failed. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was it was an iconic moment, I think. It was not for sure. That was an iconic moment. Yeah, that, that, that I'll I'll never forget that shit either. That was like the first time I've ever seen anyone try to do that in the anime where it was like a suicidal attempt, you know, that freaking what they even call that move? It was like flash something. Which move? The move that he does where he like explodes. Oh, final explosion. Final explosion. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Right. Yeah, the final explosion, man. And that whole, that whole, the whole... And then he brought it back as super and was like... <laughs> Dude. But, yo, but, the, but see, that, that just goes hand-in-hand hand with what I was saying. Like, Vegeta has the craziest character development, like, up and down. It's like a roller coaster. Yeah. Like, he starts off as a, as a villain, right? And then he, like, kind of, like, not softens up, but he opens up to, like, working with the Z fighters. And then that kind of transitions into him getting He doesn't want to change, but it happens naturally over yep. time. And then he gets, and then he ends, with, ends up with Bulma, and then they have baby trunks, and then all the cell the and but shit happens. we yo we could have a whole we could have a whole episode about vegeta's about vegeta's come up between like his debut and right now where he is wearing those yard rat clothes oh you know like, what that actually is a great episode topic in itself an uh, episode about vegeta oh yeah he yeah. deserves it he <laughs> deserves it facts 
All right, what's your... So we're at, we're at number one now. We're at number ones. So before our number ones, we can go over our honorable mention. Okay, you want to do that first? Yeah. What's that? Honorable mentions is like... Is is when what didn't make the list? Yeah, but what, you, what's you not still in your top five, it. but like oh, the one that the shit that you liked right, right. in Z. Yeah. yeah. All right. So go ahead. you want to start with the honorable? So yeah, yeah. Um, so my honorable was actually the original fight with Frieza and Goku. Yes. Like, you know, Frieza's final form. Obviously, you know, like that whole lengthy ass fight everybody's aware of. You know, all the way up to Super Saiyan. But for me, I think the fight was a lot more special before Super Saiyan. Okay. Because I thought that it was much more intense. There was a lot of really cool shit, like him splitting the command man as distractions like that coming up out of the water. Like everything he thought of to try to put Frieza down. And Frieza did not care. Nah. So that was my that was my honorable mention. Okay. So my honorable mention. So we get we're doing one honorable mention. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> if you got another one, like. So one honorable mention that I could think of that I definitely that definitely sat with me for sure. Obviously. The one that sat with me was the Vegeta. Oh yeah. The Vegeta thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, honestly, it was definitely when Goku went Super Saiyan for the first time. Yeah. During Frieza. Krillin fuck freaking go Krillin. To hell. <laughs> Boom. Freaking snap crackle popped. Like the cereal. Yes, Krillin. Yes, sorry. Snap Krillin pop. Yeah, yeah. Yo, he, he, he popped. He was done. But, you know, that was like our first time we saw Goku get that mad. Like, think let's think about this. Goku didn't even get that mad when my man Raddus put hands on his own son. You know what I'm saying? I mean, obviously Goku was not as strong as he was. I mean, he too, he went he went, he underwent a lot of training even just on the way to Namek. Yep. So that makes sense, but you know, it, that was the final stretch. I mean, and then even before then, like Goku was like on a super come up. Like they was having trouble with the Ginyu Force, and then Goku like basically handled all of them by himself, and like he was looking was hella too. strong. And then you know, he fights Frieza, and Krillin gets. Krillin gets, you know, he gets murked. <laughs> and then, boom, like, this is the first time we see, like, a big transformation out of Dragon Ball Z. This was, like, you know, like, you know, this was during a time where Kaioken was what people looked at for anything kind of, as a power-up, you know? Yeah. So. It was they, the power-up. That's, that's and anybody could learn it. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's my honorable mention right there, is uh, Goku Go Super Saiyan. Your honorable mention? One of the cheetah... Uh, what should we call it? Bring out the final flash. That's gonna be my other one. <laughs> that final flash is OD. Yes. Yes. For the first time. That was okay. That was great. So I was like, you know what? Go ahead, Vegeta. Just hit me. I'll give you a free shot. He was like, oh, you want me to hit you? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> that, oh, I'll hit you. That like, don't move. He was like, don't bitch out now. <laughs> Dude, that final flash he started is all his time. Right. <laughs> That final flash is the one that they use in fighters. Like when you get the Yeah. Yeah. That, oh. Yup. That actually, you know what? That's the same one, and I hate to bring this game up, but in Jump Force, that is the best looking final flash. But it's from that moment. Mm -hmm. Fire. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But yeah, that's funny. That was that's on that list. Mm. For sure. So now it brings us down to our number ones. Number one. This was the easiest thing for me to think of okay. in the world. I probably know what it is, but let's, let, let's hear it. Do you think you know what it is? I, I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you. <laughs> I just want to hear from you. It is. Do you like Attack on Titan, Dragon Ball Super, Dr. Stone, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? Well, those are just a few of the several different hundreds of anime selections that you can watch for free with my trial code for Funimation Now. All you gotta do is click that link in the description below and check out Funimation Now for a free 14 day trial period to enjoy all of these anime and many, many more. That's Funimation Now by using the link in the description below. The ultimate fight ah! between Super Saiyan 2 Goku oh. and Majin <laughs> Vegeta. I thought, oh, that was a I thought you were because about to <laughs> Because okay, okay. that fight to me, like out of any out of anything I saw in Dragon Ball, that was the 
toughest shit ever. There was, that rivalry had been brewing. There was no rematch no. ever. And Vegeta could only sit there being salty as hell. To, be honest, you're... to the point where ah! Goku, to the point where Goku blew himself up with Cell and everything on, on King Kai's planet. And Vegeta was like, you know what? I'm not fighting again. Fuck this. <laughs> What's crazy about that fight is that Goku had the Super Saiyan 3 unlocked. He did, he did and it. he chose not to do it. He wanted he fucking embarrassed them. <laughs> Vegeta, yeah. And Vegeta would have been mad as hell. What a what a friend. He just wanted to be equal. But yeah. yeah, I don't even I don't even think it was like that though, because Goku don't really like Goku don't really think like that. I feel like he held the form back because even if Vegeta was being controlled, even if Vegeta had some type of power up from having that M on his forehead, you know, he could have changed it to W for Wombo and gotten more power. But <laughs> I'm just saying that, like, Goku stayed... I, I feel like, my personal opinion, Goku stayed in that Super Saiyan 2 form because that rivalry was years long. And, like, Super Saiyan 2 versus Super Saiyan 2, it's like, yeah, okay, I unlocked Super Saiyan 3, but you didn't. And he's like, he could use it on him, but it's like, what if Vegeta unlocks it too? He wants a fair fight. Whose two form is going to be stronger? Because in the end, it doesn't matter who got Super Saiyan 3 first. It matters who's the stronger. That's true. But, man, thinking back on that moment. But that was the most sense that, like, Vegeta grabbed this man by the head. Like, by the hair. He was like, what's the matter, clown? <laughs> yeah, like, but, yo. But see, all right. Vegeta just fans like had are, him pinned. They're not gonna like this. The Vegeta fans are not gonna like this, what I'm about to say. Because. What I'm about to say. Oh, God. They're not. I mean, look. What's gonna make up for it is all the shit you, you you heard me say about him. He's 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 about to be the hero. He's about to he's, he's about, about to have be, his own podcast episode. He's about, he's about to Don't be worry the about one. it. So anyway, that's fine. But as far as Z's concerned, like this man had to get a cheap, cheap and easy discount power up, mm. known as the Majin shit, just to go toe to toe with Goku. Now that in itself speaks volumes. Because that means Goku didn't even use Super Saiyan 3 when he knew he had Super Saiyan 3. Yes. And meanwhile, what happens if Vegeta didn't have Majin? He would have just been a basic Super Saiyan whatever. I don't think he would have ever unlocked Super Saiyan 2 if it wasn't for And that's what I'm trying to say. You don't but think he would have what? He's saying, he's, he just said that he doesn't think he would have unlocked Super Saiyan 2 without that Majin. No, nah, I'm pretty sure Vegeta had Super Saiyan 2 oh. before Majin. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know man. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Because that, that Super Saiyan 2 was really close to a perfected form for him. Like, he had no type of fatigue. He had no type of nothing. And he went all out. Like, yeah, he had a power boost on him. He had a, he had a crutch he to had fight against Goku. For sure. He yeah, he had really. That's what I'm saying. Like, that fight, no matter what angle you look at it, was not looking good for Vegeta. Like from his own standpoint, from Goku's standpoint, and the, and the funny part is, is like Goku as a character, when he sees like that's his boy, like he Goku Goku is is like this though, like he's not gonna <clears throat> go ham on a friend, like he will give you up to a point, but until it is only up until you really push them and it's like when shit has to give maybe yeah maybe, maybe it out. <laughs> but I don't, cool. I don't think he put him in that position though exactly and, and that's the thing that's what i'm and saying and you're right he didn't put him in, in that position it's almost like he let vegeta have this time but for me, like, I think about it, I think about it from a more Vegeta, like, perspective. Because for me, like, that fight, like, like, you got to think about Vegeta. Like, Vegeta's not stupid. Vegeta's not, like, mindless like Goku is. You know what I mean? So, like, Vegeta also has a lot of pride. He wouldn't let anybody control him for no type of reason. Well, so, you got to, but here's the thing, he though. He had a moment of weakness. He had a moment of weakness, and I feel like that's because... I feel like it's partially because of his family. Even though he said the opposite, he wanted to, you know, like return back to his evil roots and blah, 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 like all that shit. I feel like it's because, you know, he lost that opportunity to fight Goku. He got one day for that tournament and that tournament got completely fucked up by this whole Majin shit. A lot of, a lot of shit happened in that, in, one, day. In that one day. That's crazy. And he couldn't, and he couldn't get the rematch he wanted. Like that's all he wanted. 
Th that shit got ruined. He couldn't have it. He couldn't have that rematch that everybody who was watching the screen wanted at some point or another. And it was just kind of like, he didn't really want to be a warrior if he was going to be second in the first place. He didn't want all this other shit. So he, he gave into that power, but he still wasn't being controlled by it. He yeah, gave himself a crutch. And then the end, what did he decide to do? He decided to pull a Goku and make it his last stand. And at least try to protect the earth and the ones that he loved. Yeah. Even though he claimed he wanted to go back to his evil roots. Yeah, yeah, that's part of his work. And I'm pretty sure he said that so that he could get Goku mad and unleash yeah. that full power and unleash that Super Saiyan three that he didn't. Uh, I don't know about that. I think I think he didn't know. He, about I, that he didn't shit. know about that. But I'm saying that, that he wanted he Goku to come at him with everything, yeah, like yeah, raw yeah, anger, yeah. like all yeah, of that's it. That's why he probably said that. So. Yeah. That's true. All right. Well, my honorable mention. Hmm. Uh, it's, the, it's number one. We're on number one. Oh, we're on number one now. Oh, ones. that's right, right, right. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. My number one should literally come at no surprise. Mm -hmm. It literally should not come at no surprise. <laughs> okay. This shit. When I thought of this list, I literally thought, okay, what's my favorite one? And I had that cemented in my brain. Mm -hmm. The best moment in Dragon Ball Z is when. Majin Buu fighting Goku and Goku showed him and the rest of the world Super Saiyajin Three. Surida! <laughs> <laughs> that was, and for many obvious reasons that we've definitely talked about before, but I'm gonna talk about it again. This is the top five special episode. The fact that at the time, of course, we're watching it on TV the Bruce Faulkner track and say what you will about the man nah that music was the Dragon Ball music that and that track is what helped define yes, and immortalize that's how, that's, that moment that's how I feel about the Goku and Majin Vegeta fight was the music behind that was so fitting yeah. like all of it like the final flash moment the mm -hmm. teen go on Super Saiyan 2 moment like all of it like that music is just listen as like an eight year old, however the fuck old I was, eight, right. nine, and I was watching that shit on TV. Yep. Live. Not no DVD. <laughs> on TV. Tsunami. You were still shitting yourself in yeah. fucking diapers. That's how young you were. When I seen that, John, on TV, as a kid, after school, watching that shit, it was like one of the best moments of my life. Because I. I, I have never seen anything like that before. And again, long hair. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> I was like, long hair. like long hair. It was just like, it meant badassery. It meant OD. It meant strength. Like, look at this guy. He went, you look at the form, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, a little more spiky, got the sparkles. And 3 is just whew, full out. Yeah, that was, that was... OD. And it was like, and and the and the process getting to that point, it, yo, like when he had the explanation, yeah, explanation, and he showed Boo, so topped it off. When he showed him, he was like, <laughs> "This is what you call a Super Saiyan, and then this is an Ascended Saiyan. You could call this Super Saiyan too, <laughs> and this <laughs> is to go." even further beyond <laughs> like how many times in life <laughs> in this life, is to go plus <laughs> ultra <laughs> how many times in life Going where on. we get moments like that or we just get people whether it's a meme or it's another <laughs> anime or if it's just people trying to be hype you always hear and this is to even go further beyond at some point Someone will say it, whether they're streaming, they're fucking around, or they're playing Smash Brothers. There's always going to be that people's going to be like, and this is to even go further beyond. And everyone knows where that shit comes from. Super Saiyan 3 transformation, first time ever, and everybody took notice. That shit fucking ruptured the earth. 
Like, everybody felt that. And they were like, Goku, no! You're gonna destroy everything! <laughs> like, they were scared because it took everything out of him just to fucking do it. I thought it was the most craziest thing ever. And even though now, at this point in life, we got Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue, and even in GT when they had Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan 3, even when like when it comes out for like the three seconds that it might come out for, I always, I always, I always get a little. <laughs> yeah. like, I always, I, I'm always like, oh yeah, yeah, Super Saiyan 3, like, but you know, that to that to this to the day I fucking die, that will always be my favorite Dragon Ball Z moment. Free. Same. 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 Yeah. Number one. No time wasted. I, I, I did all the explaining. You know, shit now. Well, I mean, you brought up every part I was gonna say, so because <laughs> that, that was crazy. Free. Telling mm -mm -mm. you, bro. Two saying three is in there. So that's all. Our, that's our top fives, right? Yeah. All right. We got our honorable mentions in everything. Do we? Let's give them. Let's give them another one. Now, let's give one more honorable mention. I mean, he took my my honorable mentions with the talk, the final flash, and, <laughs> and the fight. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up any of the previous questions before I forget, because you know the, you always end up reminding me like, oh, like do we have any other questions? Blah blah blah. There was actually time where I was like, all right, that's the show. Like, Wait, what about the oh, what about <laughs> what about the questions? <laughs> okay. So the last, okay, so the last time we were on here was when we was reviewing chapter 57. Mm. That was episode Damn, 13. We got 58 coming out next week. Oh my god, that's right. Yep. Holy shit. Luckily, that come, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, night. Oh man. It, yeah. Next episode is gonna have to be the review. It's gonna have to be. <laughs> <laughs> It'll have to be a review. All right, all right. That's no problem. Okay, so. But the fight though. Mm. I know. Okay, so Crimson, again, so Crimson is the one that asked the asked us to do the top five for this one. He goes, if they do decide to bring Super back with the Moro arc from each from each of us, he wants to he wants to know. He's curious. <clears throat> so so he worded this question a little bit weird because it was kind of like run on, like there was no punctuation at all. So I was like, oh, whoa, whoa, like slow down here. <laughs> um, <laughs> He said, I'll just, I'm going to read it verbatim, right? He says, I'm curious, three English voice actors for Moro, for example, Travis Williams, Steve Blum, like a good English voice actor for Moro, if they do the Moro arc. So I think what he's trying to ask Who are is, top three voice actors for Moro? Yeah, like, yeah, like who, who would we want to see voicing Moro? Um, if, no. Right. <laughs> so Brand, Brother Who says he doesn't know. So, so he's going to pass on that. I have I have one obvious as fuck answer that just works with every hero or villain or any character you need in any situation. I mean, come on, you can't go wrong. Honestly, I wouldn't pick him. Not for Moro. Not for Moro. But go ahead, finish your answer. I'll pick it for anybody. <laughs> Listen, you can't pick him for everybody. I didn't say everybody. Okay, but so who is it? so for the people? Johnny. Okay. Johnny Bosch. Yes. That was it in my head too. But <laughs> no! Morrow Mar doesn't he doesn't look like it. It doesn't he doesn't right. he doesn't look like it, but he would kill it. <sighs> See Isn't Johnny Bosch a screamer? He's, he's 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 what? He's a screamer. Nah, no. not really. No no no. He's Ichigo, Brandon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Ichigo can scream. He's Broly now. Yeah, he's Broly now. Yeah, bro. Right. right. He's too many people. He is too many. <laughs> he actually is too many. He's everywhere, bro. He's, he's zero. everywhere. He's, uh, I think he's Nero from Devil May Cry as well. He's Tomioka. Yeah. Oh. Just, just off of those two people, fucking Ichigo and Broly, he can't, he can't be more. Exactly. <laughs> but now. See, for a character, so, see the way, Johnny has a very specific and unique voice kind of like how chris sabat has a very unique and like specific voice like whenever you hear a character you know it's them like off the rip but with, but when i look at moro like when i look at a character i can look at them and be like oh i can see this actor playing yeah, this yeah, guy yeah, yeah. Right? i feel you moro is not a johnny character moro looks like a calm tree <laughs> 
<laughs> Even though he's like a goat. Uh, yeah, whatever. Even though I, he's I, a I, goat. I haven't looked at him like that. Yeah. I just remember off of one picture. So Moro, kind of. yeah, so Moro is like you know, a really old character. You know who I could see voicing him? Who? Like in like Yeah, yeah, you know you know who fits? Uh I don't know his name, so please excuse me for that, but the English voice actor for Cell. <gasps> I just, I just thought that. <laughs> I li- that would wow. fit perfect. That really? would fit. Wow. Per- that would fit perfect with Moro Damian for Clark. sure. Damien Clark. All right, bet. that boy, bro. When it comes to villainous voices, Frieza and Cells Dude. are iconic. Dude, that's a. I li- I swear to God, I just thought that. I was like, cause I was thinking in my head, I was like, Cell. Who the fuck else? That and- attitude, everything, the way they handle themselves. That- so he would just have to change the tone, maybe to sound a little darker. Maybe a little heavier because he just gotta wake up in the morning and start recording. Mm. <laughs> That's more okay. So that so fresh out the bed with yeah. the mic because <laughs> he 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 don't say nothing perfect, but like he <laughs> like he would he would have that Damien Clark esque to him, but a lot because like Cell's rough, voice like... Cell is a lot higher pitch in comparison to what I'm imagining for yeah, Moro. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Because yeah, yeah. when I look at Moro, Moro is a character. He's like millions and million years old. He's been in galactic prison for however many freaking years. He's got to have a deep voice. He's got to have a deep voice. He just looks like he has a deep voice because, you know, he's got that, that nice big old beard. And now that he's regained, like, you know, some life energy. He's like, re- but he did regain his youth. Yeah, but still, even though he regained his youth, I don't see him with, like, the like it, like the one-to-one cell voice. Like, almost, but not quite. Like, mm. Dave, if Damian Clark did it, then I feel like, like he he would be able to pull it He'd off. He'd be able to alter it the right way. Right, and that's that's what I'm looking for. Like it needs to be like Cell, but a little more, like, heftier, or darker, like, along those lines. I don't have no top three, but that's my answer right there. Would, yeah, it would, it would have to be something. That along that's those lines. that's the most fitting voice I can think of. Right. Yeah. Because for sure. I I was like, I was like, damn, like for moral, like like I would have, I would be like, well. I'd have like criteria, like what I feel like would like the character would have to meet, but yeah, like that that's that's pretty much that's pretty much how that goes. As far as uh like who I could see voice and moral. That'd be a really good one though. Imagine that. I know. And and, and that Dude. would that would be his return to the series. Because he hasn't voiced the character since Cell. And they haven't brought Cell back, which I mean I really I don't think they I should. Don't, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Cause the only like the only purpose I ever see <clears throat> of them like see them like bringing him back that shit would not work with the androids being there anyway. And plus the juniors are on the island that the kids are at. Did you did you know that, Brand? I told you that shit. That that the 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 park rangers you know where seventeen he's watching over those mm. the animals and shit. Goten and Trunks are there. Yeah. Cell juniors are there too. What? Yeah. Juniors. Cell juniors. So Why? they. They was in the earth and they just they're still around apparently wow. like that's the thing like i can't even i don't want a storyline about them because the only reason why they would bring cell back is for nostalgia and that's the last character but guess what hmm. nostalgia sells i i know i know <laughs> but like that like that's what i'm saying like if they do it i just hope that whatever story they decide to do it's good and it's not like a throwaway. Like, okay, fine. Here's Cell. Leave me the fuck alone. Let me just go back to fitting Broly. How did you feel when Frieza came back? Like for the hyped. tournament of power. I was hyped as fuck. <clears throat> Great. I, like I was so hyped. Like at first when I heard that Boo was getting taken out, I was like, why? They showed Boo in a brand Yo, new they gave him form. Yeah. <laughs> My man had all the abs. Yo. And then I was like, wait, why the fuck are they replacing Boo? And then when I he heard He went to Boo, sleep for 45 minutes and then he went right back to fat. <laughs> dude, and then... I miss Kid Boo. Facts. <laughs> you know, I think I made I a wish, video about that I shit. wish Fat Boo could control Kid Boo. I don't know if that would have ever happen though. Because no. it had to go like a certain way. Yeah, no, because... What about... What about the Super Boo voice for Moro? Yes, because that's that's a, that's, a, that's like a darker. You yes. know what I mean? Like that's a more. Gr- oh yes, I hear it now. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. I, yes. can, I, can, yeah. Uh-huh. I can dig it. So there you go. All right. So three ish. There's, 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 <laughs> there's two. I mean, yeah, you did say three people. Kind of. Just yeah. yeah. 
But yeah, that, I, yeah, I think that Super Boo would see. All right, here's another character. Slide in there real well. You know who I could see if if something went wrong and they needed somebody to fill this character in. You know who I could see Johnny Young Bosch voicing Trunks. <laughs> he has that look. Cool man. And I can't listen. I know it's hard. I can't unhear who we got right now. I I forget his name. I'm sorry, but Eric Vale. Damn. There we go. He is. I grew up listening to him. Matter of fact, I stood right next to him, and he, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like I didn't even really was, it, I didn't even realize it was him until I heard him talk a little bit. And then yeah, you can't. And nah, I was like, and I was like, frozen, shook. That's drugs. I was like, that's drugs. Holy shit. Holy shit. But yeah, <laughs> it was at Kamehameha Con. I was like outside talking to one of the um. I was talking to one of the organizers of the entire convention because he pulled me aside because this was the first Kamehameha Con I went to. Mm. And when he pulled me aside, he literally pulled me outside like where all the other like actors and talent were just like getting their breathing space, like literal breathing space. And we're outside, he's smoking a cigarette and we're talking about like, because he wants me back for next year, 2019, which is where I did the panel for Broly, right? And then here comes Eric, Eric, and he like goes straight to this dude and he's like going off like he's complaining about something that was going on inside about like a something like someone else like i guess one of the fans was being a fucking dickhead right of course <laughs> so he's going off and i'm like why does he sound like trunks <gasps> that's because he is trunks <laughs> <laughs> and i was like i was just there and he you know he, i let him i let him handle his business like i did not at one point i was like you know what I've seen what happened when Trunks gets mad. I don't want to see what how this guy looks when he gets mad. I'm not gonna press him. Be like, hey, I I'm a big fan. Uh, he he trying to character. get his breathing space. I was get back not there. having that. No. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Different time and place. Not right now. He he he's an event. He's inventing mode. He's probably yeah. already a Super Saiyan three before Super Dragon Ball Heroes had that shit for Trunks. Not having it. So I could picture if anything went wrong with him. Like, I can see Johnny doing trunks. <laughs> like, dude, just the way... Look, we can have a whole episode about Johnny. It's, not, it's not happening right now. It's just, <laughs> That's, not, it's just not happening. So we'll just, we'll just pause that. Yeah. So, that do, do, do you want to do one more album mention before we uh, send these... Send these viewers and listeners I got, back. I feel like I got my fair share of honorable mentions through like other other voices. So okay. I'm I'm good. Brother Luch, how about you? It's been a while since the people have heard you. Mentions, mentions. Another honorable mention. Uh, Another moment that you. Maybe when 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 Future Trunks pulled out the the Super Saiyan and a half. A uh -huh. super trunks, yeah, super <laughs> trunks. big beefy trunks. Yeah, I used to call it super saiyan one. Yeah, one with the white eyes. Remind me of Broly. <laughs> Bro, low key, uh, that's where Broly was inspired off of. Low key, it was in a video from Geekdom. Shout out to Geekdom. You know, it's funny. Geekdom's been trying. He's been literally publicly making it known that he wants to come back on the show, and I'm just like, <laughs> wait, what do you mean? He's literally like so like. When I when I share when it, it's so it's between when I share the podcast on Twitter or when like we're just bantering back and forth because he's always coming at me like like with that shit that, he says. Okay, right? I, I know what you mean. Yeah, he'll always be like, "Yo, I gotta come back on the podcast, man." I was just like, and I I always I'll respond with like a ha ha or an LOL. Does like, he watch these? Like, does he? I mean, if he does, good. I I would hope he does, but. All right, so then you know what? We'll, we'll make you a deal. If you've made it this far to the video, this is your chance. You know, <laughs> leave a comment down below and go ahead and we'll we'll guest him in as usual. He's a troll. He trolls too hard on here. <laughs> but let's see. You got to you got to a fan is a fan. <laughs> if you watch it, if you watch the FPP uh, or listening. Yeah. Okay. Well, cuz the last time he was I know, but I mean, it would be cool. It would be cool if he could be here, like. But he's. I mean, that's he's in a that's completely different state. That's a lot, yeah. And with traveling, how traveling works, I don't know if that's happening anytime soon. That's nope. a lot. Yeah. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be it. I think we're gonna wrap this one up for you guys. Obviously, leave a comment below on anything you would like to address with this episode or any kind of future topics that you want to hear out of us. 
for you know another episode i do know that the next episode will definitely be about the chapter 58 review of dragon ball super maybe um, depending on depending on what we see in the chapter it could mix that vegeta topic in there possibly yeah so it'll be a a, a special review recap and breakdown and predictions as to what's to come next in dragon ball super manga all that good stuff and all that good stuff so like i said make sure as always like share comment subscribe hit the alert bell make sure you're sharing the podcast around um and yeah give us give us your top five. Oh yeah yeah let give us, us know, your top let us five your, let us know your top five and please use punctuation because sometimes y'all get too excited <laughs> Grammar please. Yo, i I like I like reading the comments, but I'm, I'm just like da, 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 I like da, 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 da. you just say like, okay, okay. I don't just like reading the comments. I like understanding, understanding. the comments. Yes. Yes, understand. <laughs> Alright guys, well that in mind, keep it locked loaded right here on the main channel. Make sure you're taking care of yourselves. Have a good one, may the power protect you, and we'll see y'all next time.